Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And today I want to show you a very quick tip on how to activate RBDs. So let's start with a grid. I'm gonna come in here. We're gonna do extrude polygons. And that way we can extrude this grid a little bit and it, we're gonna have to close the back so just output the back and say for example we want to do sort of like a, a road right of like cracked stuff so there's a few different ways of fracturing I'm gonna do the material fracture and then I am going to grab a grid and on this grid let's have a look at it we're gonna wanna do more here and then we're gonna do a copy two points or copy and transform. Let's increase the amount of points and let's rotate it like this so that we have like a random geometry that's gonna be used to fracture. And then let's do a mountain. So let's just merge this two together and let's see what we have. I'm gonna transform this. Move axis centroid and let's kind of position it on the area that I want like my cracks to be. And now let's see what we get RBD boolean um, boolean fracture Alrighty, you can see that we get some pretty cool fractures if we use this technique. And I mean, if we increase the resolution here, we're gonna get even more detail. But what's cool about this is the is the kind of like super cool detail that you can get on fractures. But Anyway, this is not a fracture tutorial. Let's go and do an assemble. Create packed primitives so that it packs all of the primitives that we have in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop down a pop, a wrangle. And let's say I at active is equal to zero so that all of our points are all of our geometry is non-active then we're gonna drop down a group and the group is what we're gonna be do what we're gonna use as points and with a bounding sphere or box to activate based on geo based on the group so let's just do something like this and we're gonna animate its activation like this So let's drop down a delete just to double check the points that the pieces that are going to be activated. So in theory, these are the pieces that we're going to activate with the RBD fracture. I am going to do a little bit of a tweak here so that like the way that it's broken, it's like a little bit, a little nicer.
I just want to have a little bit more intricate atten action happening on our plane. Let's check it out now. So this is basically what we want, something that has a lot more detail to it. Um, now what we need to do is create a, another wrangle. And we're going to call this group active. And right here, we're going to say, uh, just activate so we don't get confused with the attribute we created. Um, so let's just say I at active for integer is equal to one if this stuff is on our active group. Okay, and now we need to drop down a dot net. And on our dot net, we are going to connect this here and come here and say packed object. On our packed object, we're gonna say that this is our first input geometry, so we should be able to see our grid now. And um, we're gonna override our active uh, attribute right here. And let's do rigid body solver, connect this here. And let's add a pop force. Now let's hit play, see what we get. Nothing because the pop force does not have any force. So there you go. Like that's the gist of how we would go about like um, activating an RBD simulation. So come here and check out our details. So the other thing that you want, that you're gonna want to check is your collision information. So if you hit here show data and we just make it invisible here, you will see the way that your geometry is being broken. So you want to do convex hull per set of connected primitives and that's just gonna give you nicer collisions. If you do concave, it's gonna take way longer, but it's gonna be much more accurate. Let's have a look at what we have. And there you go, guys. Like this is a combination of how you can one fracture very interestingly something and two control the RBD simulation so that you can pick how things activate. All right. Um, Hope you guys liked it and I'll be back with more.